Good day and welcome to today's Ultrix tutorial. I am Fawan Bekengi, a data scientist at Syndro, and today we'll be looking at the Map Impute tool in Ultrix Designer. All right, so what exactly is the Map Impute tool used for? Um, it is from the word Map Impute. Uh, probably it would make sense if you've used the Impute tool before, the Impute data tool or the Text Impute tool before. So the map impute tool is just um, basically to have a map object in your workflow, it's just to introduce a map object in your workflow. And of course, um, we have basically three um, map objects which makes up uh, our spatial um, data, right? We either have a point, we have a line or a polygon. So basically, um, points make up, you know, at least two points make up a line, right? And then more than two points uh, makes up a polygon, okay? So you can see just a single point makes a point. Um, at least uh, two points makes a line and then more than uh, two points makes a polygon. All right, so the map impute tool basically uh, helps us to uh, draw or select a desired map object uh, to use as input in our workflow. And uh, there are basically for this map impute tool, there are basically two modes for the map impute tool. Uh, the first is the, the drawing mode, and the second is the selecting mode. Or selection mode okay so we're going to be looking at how to use map impute tool in Ultrix so let's go over to Ultrix and then check out how to use the map impute tool now the map impute tool is located in the input and output tool palette as you can see here right the map impute tool look at it here just in case you can't find it here just come to this um, add or remove tool button and then click on this Make sure you are in the input and output tool palette. So when you click on this, you can see if this is not checked, just check it and then click on OK. And then come back to the input and output tool palette. So once you get there, um, you can see we have the map input tool now, and then you can drag it to the canvas. And once you have that, you see um, a map. Right, and then this is showing uh, United States of America. Uh, you can always zoom in, you can always zoom in to see, and then you can pan this to move around. So I'm just going to zoom back, just going to zoom out, okay. And you can see United States of America, right? So looking at that, right? So, and then you can also see this other configuration. Um, you can see the draw configuration, and then you can see the um, select configuration. Okay, so um, then one other thing you can see here is what you can see uh, maps that you can use, right? Which are called base maps. So you can see this is a base map. So there's nothing on this base map other than uh, locations of uh, places in the world, right? This is like a world map, right? Then you can keep moving around to see other countries or other continents, right? So uh, this is for uh, the United States of America. Okay, so you can see what we have in here. All right, and then um, to change the base map, if you want to change the base map, you can just come over to options uh, user settings, then edit user settings, and then go to data set default tab, and then you can you know change the default base map you want uh, in your um, outputs, right? So you can change it here. Okay, I'll be leaving this, and then I'll change it when I attach my browse to. So um, in here you can see the objects we have in. Uh, all tricks you can see this is the point this is the line and then this is the polygon okay so let's say for example um, we want to 
fix a point here at uh, Oklahoma, right? And when I just drop this point here, it's going to bring out a label so that I can name that particular point. So you can see enter a label for this future. So I can just say OK, which is short form for Oklahoma, for example. So I will save this. Then if I over, you can see the OK is showing up, right? If I over on this, you can see that the OK is showing up. So let's add more points. I can, you know, call this as, uh, let's, let's see, Houston. So I can just say HT as Houston, right? HT in caps. Okay, I've added that label. You can see HT here, right? So I can, you know, zoom in a little. Right, you can see Dallas, right? You can see uh, Texas, you can see Waco, you know, I can see some other uh, places in the in the US, okay? So I can just keep on adding, so I can see I want Dallas, and I can just see DA. So that's about that. Uh, let's add the browse tool to check out what we've done so far. Now, if you want to see, uh, you know, want to know, in depth more about uh, the browse tool you can check my other tutorials where i talked extensively about the browse tool and its um, usefulness and usage so you can check out that okay so look at this and um, look at what we have right so just three basically three points and then you can see it here right you can see the point here you can see one here one here and then you can see this is loading. Okay. You can see the other points. Right, this is second time to load. Okay, so go through this. So you can actually change the uh, base map here. Just like so I just want to change this on the fly and not permanently, and that's why I did not change it uh, using the uh, previous settings I showed before now. So uh, let's see dark uh, let's see so you can see here if you prefer you know most developers probably will prefer this because I don't know like dark modes okay so, so you can see with this dark mode I can easily see my points right you can see it might be something you want to you know use at any point in time right so look at this and we can see uh, the the uh, objects, the special points I, you know, located or I uh, pointed to on my map. You can see we have them in here. So let's try for other um, objects. So remember, we are still in the drawing mode. So we are still drawing on our map just from the word drawing, right? So you can see, I can delete this. So I, after clicking on this, you can you know rename this. If I don't want this to be Dallas, I can modify and I can delete. So I'm just going to delete this. Okay. So I'm going to delete this too. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. Okay. So let's have a line. So for example, uh, let's see Dallas to Houston, right? So I'm just going to I'm just going to click this again. Dallas Houston. So I just double click at where I want to end it, and I'll see Dallas Houston. So D A to Houston, right? I'll save it. So you can see this is D A to Houston, right? Let's let's have more than one. So let's say uh, from Texas to Dallas, right? So you can see, I can now see from Dallas again north towards Austin, right? I can even continue and see to um, let's say Victoria, right? And then I can see again it continues to you know I can just keep going, keep going maybe to this point if i want to end this i can just double click that point and then so i can see a long walk right i can just call this anything 
right? So let me just save this and run this. And so you can see we have two um, labels to record and you can see what I have in here, right? You can see these are the lines I specified in my uh, in, in my diagram, right? When I was drawing, and then you can see here I have what line special objects and it's no longer points, right? So I can just, you know, toggle this to see, uh, uh, just change this to see a darker uh, map, right? I think I prefer this actually. So you can easily see uh, what I'm doing, All right? So that's about it for points. Let's try again for, for the uh, polygon. So polygon is just an enclosed area. So I'm just going to delete this. So I do not uh, delete multiple things. I'm just going to delete this and then try to attach this. So let's click on polygon. So if you have this, I'm going to zoom in a little. Okay, so yeah, we there we are. Let's go to okay. All right, so I'm just going to create a polygon, for example, and then a polygon you must have to return back to where it started from, right? So I can just have this, have this, you can even cross paths, cross paths, right? Just keep moving. It must come back to what this end, right? So let's see my custom allocation, right? Location. Okay. And then you save this. You can draw multiple, you know, polygons, right? So let's say this is a dispatch rider, right? So location, okay, so, and if we run this, so now you can see this is a polygon, right? A special object which is a polygon, and then you can see uh, this is totally uh, my customer location. And you can see here is what my dispatch rider location. So you can see you can easily just do something, right? Just like the text in view tool, you can check out um, the tutorial I did on the text in view tool. Now you can just easily. Um, do something to probably do a check or a test on uh, your data set or you know just quickly do something so you can quickly test uh, some other things right so this is very um, helpful um, also in cases where you want to do like a test on special tools and you do not have access to special tools right you can just easily use this to Create a mock-up of data set, right? And then you analyze, right? So you can see uh, how to use the map in view tool. So uh, another thing here is um, you can see um, this other, so we've, we've not done the selecting uh, mode. So if we want to check how this works, right? So basically, if you want to select, it needs, um, a reference uh, data. So you can see that we need a reference data. So I'm just going to have a reference data that I'm going to use in this scenario. So just going to scroll down. And then let me run this so you see. Let me run this. So you see, okay. So this is my data and then these are my locations. So you can just easily do this too. If you, you know, these are my locations that I have. Right, and I'll probably change this map to, uh, okay. I'll just change this map in here to dark. So you can easily see that. All right, so what I want to basically do here is uh, I want to use Using this uh, the selecting mode, so I want to just select 
in selection mode, right? What I want to do is I want to um, select um, what will be represented in here. So if you look at this, for example, right, you can see the special object, right? So let's imagine I want to select uh, this. Let's see, I want to select fix, for example, right? So you can see these are the things I selected, right? You can see just these four fields or four locations, right? And then if I click on run, you see that it only returned what the four fields I clicked, right, on my location, right? You can see, and there was highlighted in green. Those are the four locations I'm interested in. And that is why just those, uh, just, you know, just these fields are returned, right? So you can see how this works, right? And again, if you want to, uh, you know, draw, so I can see, um, I want to actually uh, select this. So I've, I've done a selection on the fields I want to see, right? And that is what has been returned, right? So I can see, um, let's see, I can, that's, I can draw on this, I can still draw on this. So if I draw on this, right, uh, let's say I'm picking a polygon, right? I can draw on this, I can see I want, so area, Communication, for example. Okay, if I run this, so you see, I can either draw or select on a reference base map. So you can see the first one I did was what I, you know, did a selection, particular selection on uh, some locations here. And um, bear in mind that only what I select on a base map is going to be returned or only what I draw on on a base map is going to be returned. So you can see that only this place, only the area of what, only the area of communication was returned, right? And when I did um, a selection on uh, any of these uh, data points, right? You can see only those places uh, were uh, returned. So let's, let's try that again. So let's do select again and then let me just pick things that are random so i'm just going to i'm holding my control key if you're using windows you have to use command okay so let's 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 just continue picking so i think i picked about seven or six so let's count so i'm just going to run this you can see what i've selected here they're in green, right? And then if I run this, you can see we have seven um, data points, right? And you can see just those, uh, the, the seven uh, selected values were returned, right? And that's basically how to use uh, the map imputer. Thank you for uh, watching today's uh, tutorial uh, using Autrix Designer. See you next time.